Yeah, just at the Lismore Centra Caravan Park. All nice and cleaned up. Something a little different. That's my new car. Nineteen ninety-five. I'll clean it up a bit before I film too much. But yeah, I've uh, sold. Well, not sold. I'm trying to sell this car. Nearly as clean as when I got it about ten months ago. So it's been home. Look at this strange caterpillar. It looks alien. Yes, yeah, so that's four hundred thousand, four hundred and eleven thousand. So I guess I've done about eleven thousand kilometres in it. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can sell this now. See how much you can sell an interstate car for. Um, yeah, nice and clean though. Beautiful. Alright, so it's going to have a bit of a test drive here. So heading off once again from the big prawn and another car. <laughs> yep, I like my change of cars, don't I? All in place. Yep. Using the key this time. A little bit jammed at the moment, but that'll all sort of work itself out. Evans Head to the beach. Very busy. <laughs> Caravan Park looks absolutely full. I've made a little visit to, to the Razorback Lookout. Up at uh, Evans Head. Kookaburras and a young magpie at the New Italy campground. Hello. Hello. Hello? 
just in the Mororo rest area. Sort of just left uh, New Italy. And I put on the little camper thing last night. So there's the, uh, the inside of the car. I've got a couple of containers there with clothes. Black dogs there. I actually found that when I was clearing out the Tarago. I made that three years ago. So I'll leave that there. And there's a little uh, temperature gauge I had to install. Thanks some help from my brother. Yes, yeah, so I've decided to uh, head south by Sydney. And I'm not sure if I'll sort of go straight back to WA exactly the way I came or do something else like Canberra or something. So I'll sort of make the decision when I get down there. So it's not bad, not bad weather. But being so close to this window here, it, uh, you really feel the breeze coming in. filming from a different car. The sugar cane over there. Stopped at the Partridge VC rest area. So just come through Sydney. There's a little cafe, little cafe truck here and a fruit cellar. The car came through really well. Only about 40 minutes, 45 minutes from start to finish. Made it to Goulburn in the big merino. I was surprised to get that little spot. Film that right next to it. That's great. Good morning. Just camped at the rest area on the other side of Yas. So, uh, woken up to a sunny day, but it's going to be a really hot day, so it's only about uh, 9 o'clock, so I'm just trying to get a bit of kilometres done. Yeah, it's uh, very green, like it was when I came through before. Back at the dog on the tucker box. Doesn't seem that long ago I was here. <laughs> Joseph Carberry's Inn. 
These are the ruins built by Joseph and Carberry, 1857. Open them as the limestone in. So they had a bush ranger come through here as well. Jack in the boots and held up the inn. Well, so far it's not too hot. Yeah, the, uh, the car flattened the battery the other morning. So must, might have to get a second battery or um, I turned the fridge off last night just so I didn't flatten the battery but everything inside was warmish so well, off I go again there's the township of Gundagai down there The Murrumbidgee River that we just crossed over. Yeah, just at Holbrook, looking at the HMAS Otway submarine. Can't remember which video number I, it is, but I filmed here when I came through after Tasmania heading north. Yeah, the free, uh, the free campsite of the pub's been taken away at the moment. The council had a complaint, so they closed them down. So I'm sort of going to head uh, further down. There's one near Albury. And look what I found, another Etomoga pub. You can camp at this one, so I might uh, camp around the back. I think they've even got showers and everything. The car up the top. Right, welcome back to the GoPro. Finally got my act together and sort of got it out of the out of the cupboard. Sort of been working out where everything is. Uh, <laughs> that's another Etomoga pub. This time, sort of camping behind it. And if you just buy something to eat or drink, you can stay here or out there. But uh, I've just had a walk up there, just had a free shower, free cold shower. But uh, it's as quirky as Daily Waters Pub in Northern Territory. So I'm just going to take the camera up quickly and have a little bit of a film before too many people get up there, I think. But uh, yeah, I've sort of transferred the little metal thing here. There's a little bit of a roof. And I'll tidy it up before I show you inside how I've got a lot more room now. And this bigger chair came with it. It's a little bit messy in the drawers, so I'll, I'll sort all that out in a sec too. Oh, well, not in a sec, but you know, soon. There's a bit of a cartoon kind of an aeroplane here. Anybody can fly a plane upside down. Bring it out and you can bring a drink and a tinny while you're driving up. So the question is, is this the original Edamoga pub? Didn't realise it'd be a little bit of a village here to look at. Bit of a yeah. Edamoga pub lockup. You see those up in the Kimberleys, the prison trees. Look at the spelling, the way they write everything. Office. Leading to the rest of the bludger who pinch me bike. Mm. Very Australiana, I think. Mm. Yeah, by the time I upload the video, I'll I'll find out where the original the original one was. This is the back of the pub. Where are you? Oh. You're going to bite my fingers. That's what it says. 
and these coggies will bite your fingers, ouch. Exactly what it says. Yep. Not kidding, that's what they said about you. Neil's next door. I wonder if this is even open. Kind of looks like it'd be sort of open. So there's Aubrey Wodonga, so I'm just up here. Probably can't see that map very well. Yeah, this is uh be quite a good campsite for tonight. If you get too close to it, you can't see the car up there, the truck. That when it cundered in Western Australia, I was filming it too close. I couldn't see the truck. A little plane over there. Skydiving team. Are you one two? camera keeps turning off I think it's because it's telling me there's not a lot of uh, space left on the chip I've got a new chip Mega beer mate it's mega beer mate tranquilizers Tonsils, tickles the throat, tantalizes the taste buds, and soothes the savage sense, pleases the palate, charges your batteries, and tastes good too, mate. I don't know if you can. There's no signage saying you can't go up here. So I'll go up. Everything leans because in the cartoon of the Edomega pub, everything's leaning over. Everything does look warped though. <laughs> Hope it's safe. So now it looks like there used to be a bar up here at some point. Uh, I'm, I'm just around to the left there, big lake over here. Sh shower was there. There's another set of stairs going to the front balcony, so I'm going to check that out. Check out these slanted stairs. I uh, didn't think I'd be filming so much for a campsite, but it's a little, a little bit surprised. So you can camp at the front here on the gravel. There's that plane, or in the back here, which is where I am. And there's the other side of the bar and lots of cartoons from the cartoon strip up there as well and so, geez, uh, the whole walls are covered in people's signatures oh well to stay here they ask you to buy a meal or a drink so I'll go see if I can check out the chicken pajamas chicken parmesan don't often order food out but yum and there you go that's what happens when I order food I eat the whole lot I'll 
and turn the beer upside down. Looks like they've used to do a bit of a shearing display here perhaps as well. Shearing equipment. Maybe just a band up here. Oh, and there's me just down there. It sits quite low at the back or high at the front. I sit about, gosh, maybe a foot and a half, two feet higher than the Tarago. So I see right over the uh, barricades and everything, you can see a lot more. But look at that, all that area there, people can stay. Looks like some bee boxes over here. Morning. There's a morning shot of the pub from the other side. I notice they've disguised the air conditioning unit in the back of that truck. Yeah, and so we stayed right down there. Looks like they've got a little portable motel room here. So I've still got to work out the uh, battery system. So I left the fridge on again overnight and the car battery was flat again. So once the uh, sun got on the solar, the battery the car nearly turned over, so I'll try it again. Let's have another try. There we go. So, oh, that's good. That's a great spot, that. Good to know where all these places are. Yeah, it must have been a pretty busy place in its day. to get used to where all the objects are when I'm filming that rear view mirror there and antenna outside. Right so it's uh, off to Victoria now. I'm only about 20k north of right Albury. Yeah, that was a great spot. I uh, didn't expect to do a video so much on the campsite but I suppose a lot of people know about this but this is, uh, this is a nice surprise. I suppose they do get pretty busy at times but yeah one of four pubs built in Australia and uh, yeah, sort of looking down towards Albury I'd say around there if you uh, like this video well, there's Lake Hume you yeah, must get back to that one day yeah if you like this video don't forget the thumbs up the notification button and subscribe button and welcome to all the new subscribers, of course. And I'll uh, just keep going. Getting warm, pretty warm. And thanks for watching.